Relax and enjoy. Kids, what should we watch on TV tonight? Oh, Lovey, can we watch the pie we show? Yeah, okay. Bim. We're live? Yes. Oh, um, welcome to Pottery of the Pre-Classical... This way, Carlton! Pre-Classical era in central western Italy. Um, I'm Carlton Garside, this is Quentin, and this is Seamus. Um, today we'll be looking for some floral patterns, platter-shaped parts that are very... Okay, lads, let's go. Whoa, what's that? It looks like a plate from central southern, slightly to the west Korea. <laughs> If only I could just reach over this large hole to grab it! No, Chambers, no! You are now falling down a hole. Please keep your arms and legs away from the walls. Have a good fall! Wow, we're in a bit of a, bit of a pickle, aren't we? My goodness, it's a tomb! Lads, this is an amazing discovery. Quick, get this. Wait, are these hieroglyphs? I can read these! It reads, in this tomb is kept two... Pomegranates? What? Oh, I'm sorry. Goddesses. Oh. One is well mannered and has good morals, but the other is short-tempered and has bad morals. It also reads, do not touch this tomb, or torture delusions will be open. Lads, stop! <laughs> and change my pants. Roll the app! <laughs> Last year we brought you the Nutribullet Extreme! Oh. This year we bring you the Nutribullet Extreme Plus! Oh. Oh. Look at this guy, he's not having a very good time with his Nutribullet Extreme! Why would you be here when you could be this dude? Look, he's having a great time with his Nutribullet Extreme Plus! Yeah! <sighs> By the Nutribullet Extreme Plus! Sienta Antiquitas, who's an um, expert on ancient archaeology and mythology. Look, he's here now. He doesn't have a parachute. Whoa. Well, I'm um, now only waiting for one more expert. Rumor has it that she was the one to uncover King Ramesses the 18th tomb, and she did it blindfolded <coughs> with both legs and an arm tied behind her back. <laughs> Golly, you must be, um, Juliet? No, no. My name is Juliet. Let's get started. These hieroglyphs lead. In this tomb is a rather dangerous pomegranate and a rather agreeable one. What? Uh, I'm sorry. The hieroglyph for pomegranate is very similar to the one for goddess. Looking <laughs> Oh, I forgot that curse, my friends! No, no, you fools! I'm her sister! I may look like my sibling, but we have fundamental differences. My sister's trying to take over the world by putting everyone to sleep, and you imbeciles let her out! I, I don't understand. It's complicated. Really? Uh, well, I suppose... I'll go get Mum. Mum! <laughs> Sorry about this. Oh, yes, dear it's all. You're out of the tomb, I see. Can you explain our history to these mortals? Well... In the beginning, around 100,000 years ago, primitive humans started colonizing the Earth. Known as Neanderthals, these creatures worshipped three goddesses. Back then, they were known as... Now they're better known as Bonham, Malice, and myself, Genetrix. You can call me Mummy. <laughs> Life was good and ordered all until one fateful day. Malice caused destruction and chaos and started terrorizing the poor little Neanderthals with eternal sleep and along with that, eternal nightmare. So, as I am most definitely a responsible adult, I took control of the situation, and with a highly devoted team of Neanderthals, here are your badges, we locked Malice up in a dark, dank tomb with her sister to battle for eternity. And so the precursors of humanity lived on. You can go now, Mum. Yes, dearest, keep an eye on your sister for me. I'll be back in time for dinner. We're having a meal prepared by today's sponsors, the Nutriblood Extreme Plus. <laughs> so good it's worth 
worthy of the gods. <laughs> but now Malice's brain is going to wreak havoc. We have to stop her. Ha! I can track her. She has gone west through the Sahara jungle. And then she has proceeded through slightly out of date Zealand <laughs> until she has reached the ancient and scarily lonesome grasslands of Rumpledarm. The, the ancient and scarily lonesome grasslands of Rumpledarm? Yes. That's what I said the first time. <laughs> Let's go. The Sahara jungle. <laughs> slightly out of date Zealand. <laughs> era in Central Western Italy. Please. Uh, okay. Beep. Oh, looks like it's over. There's something else on. Beep. Good evening and welcome to tonight's episode of How to Recognize Different Types of Tree from Quite a Long Way Away. Now, last week we started our journey to look at a cheeky little maple tree high up on a grassy hill. I'm jolly excited to get back to it. <laughs> Thank you. 